Hello everyone and welcome to Code Crushers. My name is Yona and this is SQL Server Tutorial for Beginners. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about cascading referential integrity constraint. To follow this lesson, you will have to have uh, watched before uh, the part 3 and part 4 of SQL Server Tutorial for Beginners, that's uh, creating tables and adding primary and foreign key constraints and also adding default constraints. If you remember, in the previous lessons, in part 3 and part 4, we have been working with tables employee and gender table. So, as you remember, we created a foreign key, gender ID, which references the column ID of the table gender. So, if when I ask you what is the gender of John, we have here the value 1 and we are going to search for the value 1 in gender table. So, it corresponds to male. So, John's gender is male. Imagine what will happen if we try and delete the value 1 male from the table gender. Obviously, John, this record will have no meaning because we are going to search for the value 1 in the table gender and there will be no value 1. So, this record will have no meaning. Uh, so, if we try and delete from table gender, where id equals 1, we are going to have receive an error. The delete statement conflicted with the reference constraint gender id. The conflict occurred in database of the, for this column gender id the employee. Because if we see here, we have design. If we go in relationships, we have the gender ID, go tables and column specifications. As you can see, the primary key table of gender references the gender ID of employee. So this is the foreign key constraint that we have created in the previous lessons. If we go here at the insert and update specifications, if you can see on delete rule and update rule, we have no action, which means that no action is going to be taken when we delete a value from the primary key from the primary table. So if obviously that if this is set to no action, we cannot delete uh, from this table, from gender table in this case, when there are records referencing when there are records referencing to this um, table because we have here this record with employee ID 5 with John Smith which references this gender table on uh, this uh, primary key. We have four options for um, creating cascading referential integrity. These are no, the first one is no action. This is the default behavior, which means that no action specifies that if an attempt is made to delete or update a row with a key referenced by foreign keys in existing rows in other tables. Um, an error is raised and the delete or update is rolled back. As we saw, we couldn't delete the record from the gender table uh, and the no action was taken. Cascade specifies that if an attempt is made to delete or update a row with a key reference by foreign keys in existing rows in other tables, all the rows containing those foreign keys are also deleted or updated, which we are going to see later in this video session. A set null specifies that if an attempt is made to delete or update a row with a key reference by foreign by foreign keys is Existing rows in other tables, all rows containing those foreign keys are set to null. And the last one, set default, specifies that if an attempt is made to delete or update a row with a key reference by foreign keys in existing rows in other tables, all the rows containing those foreign keys are set to default values. As you remember in the previous lesson, we created a default constraint. Let me refresh this. Um, okay, gender default value. We created this default constraint, which means that we, when we insert new records in the employee table and uh, no gender ID is specified, uh, by default uh, the value is going to be 3, unknown gender. 
So let us go again to relationships of the employee ID uh, table. Let's go on relationships and uh, the um, foreign key employee gender ID in uh, insert and update specifications. We are going to on delete rule, we are going to set to default. Okay, let's save. Okay, let's see what happens. Now we are going to delete um, ID 1 from gender table. Now the value is 1 here on the record with employee ID 5 and we have male uh, value on gender table. Let's go on and delete this value. Okay, as you can see, now that we specified uh, an action on delete, we are going, we uh, were able to delete this row, this value from the gender table. Let's go and select, as you can see, the default value 3 of gender ID is now in this record 5. We And we no longer have the male gender from the gender table. Okay. Let's go on and see what happens when we specify set now. Relationships, employee gender ID for in key, insert and update. Let's go on and set now. Okay, let's go on the save. Yes. And now we are going to delete the, the female. The female from gender ID which corresponds to ID number 2. Let's go and delete from gender where ID equals 2. Okay, select from employee and gender and as you can see we have the null value instead of 2 which corresponds to female. And the last option that we have is the cascade. So let's go here on relationships choose the uh, foreign key employee gender ID, insert and update specifications, delete rule, we are going to set on cascade, which means that when we delete, okay, uh, first let's just say, uh, as I was saying, when we delete the record from the primary table, all the records that are referenced, uh, all the records that are uh, related with this uh, record in the primary key are going to be deleted. So as you can see here, we have uh, uh, from uh, gender table, we have uh, the ID number three unknown and there are two records in employee table that references this ID of gender table. So if we go on and delete, we will see that these records will be deleted also when we delete this record from gender table. Delete, okay, let's select, okay, as you can see there are no records which uh, references the number 3 uh, ID of a gender table and there are also no more records in the gender table. So basically there are four options for cascading referational integrity, no action, which is the default action. When you set to no action, you cannot delete the records. We are going to get an error, which means that we cannot delete the records from the type primary table where there are records referencing these uh, rows in another table. So the delete is rolled back. The second option, option is cascade, or cascading referential integrity, which means that when we delete uh, a row uh, from the primary table, all the records that uh, reference uh, this uh, row are go from the other table are going to be deleted also. Set null, which means that when we delete uh, a record from the primary table, all the other records in the other table, uh, this column uh, that references uh, this other table are going to be set to null. And the last one is set default, which means that uh, all these records are going to uh, have the default value of this foreign um, key value. So uh, this is everything for today's lesson. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making uh, other lessons and other videos. Thank you. Bye.